Hello everyone, my name is Randeep and I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco's Enterprise Networking Business Unit. In this video, we will be talking about the next generation of the industry's most popular compact switch, the Catalyst 9200CX. These compact fanless switches are the next generation of the Catalyst 2960CX and the 3560CX switches. And with these compact switches, we're re-envisioning the Catalyst compact switch as a whole. The Catalyst 9200CX brings cutting edge hardware alongside the feature richness of the Catalyst 9000 family to meet the demands of today's customer use cases. This line of small compact fanless switches offer an SD card slot with support for an SD card up to 16 gigabits, a USB type micro B console port, Bluetooth dongle support for enabling usage of the wireless interface as an IP management port interface. We have flexible downlink offerings with eight or 12 port configurations with models that offer M gig and one gig downlinks, as well as models that offer 802.3BT type three class six 60 watts UPOE downlinks or 802.3AT PoE plus downlinks. These compact switches have built-in memory of four gigabits and built-in eight gigabit flash. There are flexible uplink options. This particular model has two SFP plus uplinks, but other models have copper uplinks as well. These compacts are running on the fast and powerful iOS XE Lite. This switch family has the powerful UADP 2.0 mini ASIC powering it. And the powering options offered by the switch are either a built-in 315 watt power supply or an external 80 watt power supply, depending on the switch model, and all within a noiseless, compact, fanless design. And for the first time, the Catalyst line of compact switches brings MGIG and UPOE together in order to provide our customers with their Wi-Fi 6 and 6E needs and to enable smart building use cases. This internal power supply switch has two 1 or 10 gig SFP plus uplinks and eight downlink ports where four ports are 1 gig copper and the other four are M gig. All eight of these ports are UPOE 802.3BT 60 watt capable and we're allowing for downlink speeds from 10 MB all the way up to 10 GB which fulfill use cases spanning from IP phones to Wi-Fi 6 and 60 APs and we have a large PoE power budget of 240 watts to support PoE endpoints where even the most powerful Wi-Fi 6 EAPs can be fully powered and provide high link speeds when connected to a 9200CX M gig switch. And the access layer of the enterprise network is perhaps the only place where the end user interacts with. Whether it be a wireless Wi-Fi connection or a wired ethernet connection, these points of contact are essential to the end client's network needs. And in order to make sure that the next generation of the Catalyst Compact switches exceed our customer needs, it was very important to understand where and how these switches will be deployed. Given our experience with industry favorite Catalyst 2960CX and 3560CX switches, and Cisco's caliber and expertise in designing for the enterprise of tomorrow, a vast amount of market research was conducted. The intent was to know exactly how the many business verticals that deploy compact switches use them. Here we see five verticals that utilize compact switches and we studied where and how they're utilized by the industry. And then our experts began creating what is the next generation of the industry's most popular compact switch, the Cisco Catalyst 9200CX. And to meet the industry needs, the Catalyst 9200CX family has a diverse set of members which fulfill the spectrum of customer use cases. As mentioned, the 8-port MGIG and UPoE variant, but there is more. The 12-port and 8-port PoE Plus models bring PoE Plus and 1GIG data on all downlink ports. These SKUs have two 1GIG copper uplinks and two SFP Plus uplinks with an internal AC power supply these switches are equipped to meet the needs of PoE Plus clients with a large PoE power budget of 240 watts. Next up, we have the data only model. This is a 12 port 1 gig data only switch with no PoE on the downlinks. It has three 1 gig copper uplinks and two SFP Plus uplinks. Something unique to note here though, is that this particular model can be fully powered by an 802.3BT type 3 class 6 60 watt uplink. 
So for example, a catalyst 9300 or 9400, which has 802.3BT downlink ports can fully power the switch and no external powering is required. But for deployment use cases where powering from a distribution switch is not an option, or if an external power supply is desired, we offer an 80 watt AC or DC external power supply for powering this particular model. And lastly, for the first time, HVDC is being brought to the Cisco Catalyst line of switches. These three variants will enable the HVDC needs of the smartest of smart building deployments. Available in 12 and 8 port variants in 1 gig data and PoE plus or M gig and 60 watt 802.3 BTU PoE. These SKUs have built in 315 watt HVDC power supplies and have SAF D grid inlets. HVDC, that is high voltage direct current, is now becoming more and more practical for distribution and use within a building, office park, warehouse, factories, and even schools. Operating at a standard voltage of 380 volts, these higher DC voltages at the moment are present in specific DC microgrids. For example, a particular corporate office campus as shown here in this illustration, where we are attaining power from perhaps a battery bank, or from a standard AC grid, or we're getting power from a clean energy source such as solar or wind. These sources can be AC or DC that are feeding into our office campus, but why is HVDC important? Well, moving forward, as we venture more into sustainably powering our infrastructure, wind and solar energy come to the forefront, and wind and solar energy production is in DC. So while converting to AC power, which is the prominent standard in current electrical environments, there is energy loss, essentially energy wastage. And then that AC power has to be reconverted to DC by several electrical devices, which is the case for most electrical devices that use transistors. For example, our computers operate on DC power. They have the AC power, from a power source and then the power supply of the computer converts it to DC for consumption. And this double conversion results in a lot of energy wastage. Secondly, higher voltage helps reduce conductor material required, helping lessen our need for raw resources such as copper, or we can improve transition efficiency. And another benefit of HVDC is that there is considerably lower power losses compared to 120 volts AC when transporting over long distances, making HVDC ideal for transporting power across long distance power lines. And with HVDC, there is an investment protection with max flexibility and powering options of low voltage AC that is between 110 to 240 volts AC uh, plenum voltage, which is 277 volts AC and 380 volts DC. That's correct. The Catalyst 9200CX HVDC SKUs can operate at low voltage AC and 277 volts AC as well. The inlet on these models is SAFD grid. An electrician would connect the electrical portion of the switch to the HVDC source in the environment. And there are three different cabling options ring terminal to safety grid, C14 to safety grid, or C16 to safety grid. Once the electrician has sourced power to the Catalyst 9200CX HVDC switch, the network engineer can operate the switch as desired. HVDC has specific benefits as opposed to regular AC, and these Catalyst 9200CX HVDC models are helping further these future energy efficient use cases. The Cisco Catalyst 9200CX is powered by iOS XE Lite, the same code base of Cisco iOS XE optimized for the Catalyst 9200CX. This modern and highly available operating system is the same that is found on the Catalyst 9200 and 9200L, the same image across the entire Cisco Catalyst 9200 family. The Cisco Catalyst 9200CX support full SDA fabric edge node capabilities, and with up to 16 VNs, it is ideal for many SDA deployment use cases. There are flexible mounting options for the 9200CX series of switches as well. These include the wall mount, the rack mount, the table top mount, which can be used on top of a table, bottom or shelf, and there is also a DIN rail mount.
And in terms of design options, there are plenty. If we're talking specifically about the campus, we can have the 9200CX, which is at the axis layer for small or medium sized deployments or medium to large deployments by utilizing them as distributed axis switches. And again, we can power them with external power supplies or we can use our distribution or axis 9300 switches shown here to power our 9200CX 12T models with 802.3DT, which will eliminate the need to run an additional wire for power. This allows for added deployment flexibility. And of course, we can have a branch type of deployment where we can have a collapse core, a 9300X in the scenario, connected down to the 9200CX switches at the axis layer. And in terms of how the Catalyst 9200CX differentiates from the previous generation of Catalyst Compact switches, for the first time, we're bringing 256-bit MACSEC encryption, whereas the previous generation only had 128-bit. There is full flexible net flow compared to limited flexible net flow before, support for Bonjour service peering, support for Yang models and ZTP, support for streaming telemetry and SDAVC with NVAR2, and of course, full SDA edge node capabilities. And all these innovations alongside assurance capabilities through Cisco DNA Center and Cisco TrustSec. And of course, it's a compact switch, but power like never before. The Catalyst 9200CX offers the same scale as that on the Catalyst 9200. And in many cases, we see scale improvements of up to four times that of the Catalyst 2960CX and 3560CX. The Cisco Catalyst 9200CX series of switches bring a big punch in a small compact form factor. And to learn more about the 9200CX series, please visit the resources listed in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching.